G'day guys, I am just doing a test calibration on this new torque sensor that I bought. So I just bought the sensor and then I connected it to this indicator which I had for some other things. And the torque sensor is basically like a load cell uh, kind of thing, but it's designed to work in torsion instead of tension or compression. And if you ever just get a lone load cell like that and then you want to connect it to uh, some indicator that you already had, you can do that pretty easily just by inputting the sensitivity into there. So there should be some sensitivity data written on it somewhere and then you input into this thing and it should be all right. But, you know, I always like to check. And so I basically just put the sensor in a vise here. I just mounted it on a board. So it's held in a vise and I've got a lever arm out here with a weight hanging in this bag. So that's a little kettlebell. And if you ever need to calibrate any kind of torque thing, that's all you need. You need a lever arm, you need a known distance, uh, and also the center of this point out here. Pretty easy if you just put the nut, you know, the angle of the nut there, measure that. And then you weigh your mass. So this mass in here, that's, that's a little kettlebell. And then you weigh that and then change the kilograms force to newtons or some other kind of force. Okay, so I've got my mass in here and the sensor is displaying 11.48. So the distance here, I measured that to 285 millimeters. Uh, got the weight in here, we convert that to force. So if we put all these numbers into a torque calculator, then it says 11.53 is the theoretical, and I'm getting 11.49, so that's not too bad, you know. This here is hardly a precision setup, but we're able to get uh, about 0.04 newton meters away from what it theoretically should be. So, you know, that's pretty damn good. So yeah, if you ever do buy a load cell like this just by itself, and you have to connect it to some other indicator that you already had, the sensitivity data calibration should be fine. But just in case you wanna verify, you know, especially with torque stuff, it's as easy as that. But it's always a good idea if you're buying cheaper stuff from like Alibaba, just verify that it's actually gonna be working properly. Anyway, scratches later.